SP Satya is looking to buy INP Group for between 3.5 and 3.75 billion ringgit in a deal that would make it one of the largest property companies in Malaysia. INP has 4,263 acres of land bank, mostly in central Klang Valley and Johor Bahru. The proposed deal would bring SP Satya's land bank to close to 10,000 acres. SP Satya President and CEO Kor Chap Jen spoke of synergistic opportunities with INP. This is given that its land banks are located within the areas where SP Satya has chartered successes and considers as a stronghold of the Satya brand. That aside, the property giant will also buy 342 acres of prime land in Bangi from Sierra Mas Development. The parcel is worth over 447 million ringgit. PNB is a substantial shareholder in all three companies. Local shares ended the week lower after the US dropped the mother of all bombs in Afghanistan. The FBM KLCI fell by 0.41% to close at 1,730.99 points. 3.2 billion shares worth 1.9 billion ringgit changed hands. Losers beat winners by 801 to 171, while another 289 counters were unchanged. Nestle Malaysia led the decliners. Investors were jittery after the US dropped its largest non-nuclear device on an ISIS complex complex in Afghanistan on Thursday. The move is seen by some as a warning to North Korea, which is expected to launch another nuclear weapons test tomorrow. The US is said to be preparing to launch a preemptive strike if it is convinced that Kim Jong-un's regime will follow through with its sixth nuclear test. China is now warning that a conflict over North Korea could break out at any moment. Local contractors are crying foul as the government imposes final duties on the import of select steel products for three years starting today. The products are steel concrete reinforcing bars, steel wire rods and deformed bar in coils. The Master Builders Association Malaysia's response was a resounding no. It says the additional duties imposed till April 13, 2020 will definitely increase the cost of construction projects and ultimately burden customers. The association also hopes the government will leave it to supply and demand to decide on the price of steel bars, especially imported steel. BMW Malaysia is confident of its sales growth this year after recording a bullish performance in the first quarter. The carmaker saw total sales rise by 17.6%, up from 2,210 last year to 2,600 units. Sales of BMW cars jumped nearly 18% to over 2,100 units, while Mini Cooper sales rose 5% to 207 units. At its motorcycle division, the figure was up 27.5% to 255. The increase was attributed to the popularity of its 3 Series plug-in hybrid and X5, which were launched in 2016. As for the Mini, it is now the third largest brand in the Malaysian premium car segment, boasting a 4% market share. RNA Telecommunication Group and its wholly owned subsidiary RASB have lodged a police report against its bank authorised signatories over alleged criminal breach of trust. In a Bursa filing, it said the report was filed on April 5th based on two cases. First off, two of its signatories allegedly paid 4.2 million ringgit from the group to its subsidiary in 2014 without the board's authorization. In the second incident, a signatory of the subsidiary allegedly paid 4.2 million ringgit from the parent company to Infogenetic. The group said neither the parent nor the subsidiary has any business relations with Infogenetics. Separately, RNA said the High Court has allowed the application of a restraining order pursuant to the Companies Act. RASB was sued by Maybank Islamic back in October 2015 after it defaulted on a loan payment of about 30.5 million ringgit. <laughs> 